How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to today's video. We are back with Brisbane Cup Teams Season 2. And the last time I did this was November 15th, which was about, like, five or ten months ago. And the last one was with No Stall, which was Todd Marcus, and then there was three Todd Marcus, and then Jonas Carvers. And now we are back at it with, finally, Team Dynico. With Cruz Mirrors, Got Weathers, and Strip Weathers, a.k.a. The King. So yeah, what's funny about this team is that it's been on the pole ever since, like, the beginning of Piston Cup teams way back in December of 2020 when I started this, which was with Team Octane Game. Yeah, it's been on the pole. We went through seven other teams after Octane Game, and it's just never landed on it until today. And that's what we're going to be doing today, reviewing these three Dynaco racers. So let's get into it. Starting it off with Strip Weathers, a.k.a. The King. Now, this guy is his own model. There's some pictures on the screen, by the way. He's his own model based off the Plymouth Superbird. You can see that it actually has it on the base. Right there, Plymouth Superbird on the bottom. It's like, right there, Plymouth Superbird. And he was one of the three finalists in the Diet 400, along with the Chick Hicks and Cars One Light McQueen. They were in a three-way tie at the start of the movie, and they had a race in Los Angeles, which obviously should have been, in, and won the Piston Cup in the app. This is a 2015 version, I do believe, I think. And I got them in 2016 or 17, somewhere around there. And that was also when I got a new Cars 1, Lady McQueen, and Chick Hicks, because my old ones were obviously, you know, dented and all that, so I needed a new one. So I got new ones of all three of these guys. And, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Like I said, Plymouth Superbird, he's... I think there was actually a real Plymouth Superbird that, uh, Birth New Voice and the King had. Like, if I can find one, I'll put one on the screen, an image of it. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure he did drive a Plymouth Superbird. And that is what the King... That's what they decided to base the King off of in the movie. <clears throat> oh, yeah. we got Dynaco right here on the hood with the classic logo. With 43 here and here, not on a headlight, like, well, Chick Hicks doesn't have one, but not like Lightning McQueen here, who has a headlight and then 95 on the headlight, because they're sticker, obviously, in the first movie. He doesn't have headlights, so he just has them right there, I guess. But yeah, he's got 43 right there, and all of his sponsors, which I'm not going to read, you can do for yourselves, but he's got all these sponsors, if I can clear it, which I... Oh, no, it's not. Oh my gosh, okay. Whatever, let's move on then. He's got silver light year tires, as you can see here. He's got the same size on both sides. He doesn't really have any like, design, he just has a bunch of decals, like a Dynaco right here, 43 right here, and then the sponsors are right there. And he's got 43 right here, which is a oddly placed way to put that number. Oh, I guess we're gonna put it on here because you gotta, you know, find another way. He's got the window bars on the back there, and I don't know if the original version has that or not, but this newer version of him does. And yeah, he's got Dynaco right here, and 43 and 43 on the back there. Okay, it's fairly basic design, nothing too special, but yeah. And I don't believe the original version of the King has, like, Plymouth Superbird written on it, but like I said, this newer version does. He's also got the brown eyes, too, which is what, uh, I was going to say all three of them, but only Chick Hicks has brown eyes, Light McQueen has blue eyes. But yeah, that's about it for the king. Moving on to Cal Weathers, this guy has a bit more of a design than the king, because he's got some depth to it, and there's some more images on the screen of where he appeared in the movie. In the Cars 3 movie, obviously. Now, he does not have his own design. He's got designs like Todd Marcus, Ray Gerson, and a bunch of other guys I did not feel like bringing out. But, you know, like Ponchi Wipeout. And that's about the only one that comes off the top of my head. But, yeah. He's got other designs. And I might have mentioned this in my No Style video. But everyone who has, like, this design. Like, everyone who has, like, a design like this is the same racer from the first movie. So like Tom Marcus was hers from, wait, 
Tom Marcus was the first movie and the third movie using the same racer, and same with Owen Dearson using the first and third movie, even though his design looks nothing like his car is one version. Tom Marcus does it pretty close, but he's got the blue and turquoise on him. But, yeah, Cal Weathers is number 42 this time, not 43. And he is pretty similar, except he's got a different shade of blue, kind of. And he's got some gradient to him, so he's got more of a design. 42 is more bolder and has some more depth to it. And he's got giant cover in it and more of a bolder text instead of just plain font there. And he's got the same Dynica logo, but 42 is underneath the headlight because he actually has headlights now and uh, his headlights are actually real now. I know, it's just stickers. He's also got brown eyes too, so that's interesting. And he's got light year above the fender while he has it on the fender. He also has his on the fender too. His rims are also blue, not silver, so that's interesting. And yeah, he has his name written right there, Cal Weathers. All main characters have their name written on them, like Cal Weathers, but I don't think the king has his name on him, but Chick does, I do believe. Yeah, like Chick Hicks has his name written on him, and Lane McQueen obviously has his name written on him. And yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I guess I gotta talk about the back here. On the back here, he's got more of a darker blue than on the hood and on the side. Because, like I said, it's like a gradient font, or gradient color, I guess. And, yeah, on the front bumper, he has, or not on the front, on the back bumper, he's got Dynaco with the camera, you know, to get cool shots from, like, when they're racing, they can, like, have the back camera here recording and can broadcast it and get some cool racing shots so that's interesting he's also got a grill here the king does not have a grill so yeah and the bottom part of his bumper is dark blue and the top half of his bumper is light blue he's got 42 right there dynaco right there and he's also got the dynaco written right here as well yeah that's about it for oh and I guess sponsors are also... Sponsors aren't the same for all the cars, three racers, like Tom Marcus here, if I can clear it in. They all have the same. All cars, three racers have the same sponsors. And all cars, three next gens have the same racers for sponsors. And yeah, now that's about it. Last but not least, we have Dynaco Cruz Ramirez. And, or I guess I should just say Cruz Ramirez. There's some images on the screen, and, uh... This is her metallic version, the one that's accurate to the movie, where, you know, her details are metallic. Her original release was this one, who has just normal color, not the Dynaco or the metallic color. As you can tell, it's just normal. This one's older, so it has like a bit more dense to it. While this one is newer, not really as newer, I still got it like four or so years ago. And yeah, she also has brown eyes, so all three Dynaco racers have brown eyes. Yeah, her is, is way simpler than Cal Weathers or the King. She only has Dynaco 51 and Dynaco on the hood. The same on this one, and then like the dinosaur wrapped around the tire that's like sticking out here. And her sponsors are down here, as you can see, if I can clear it. Her sponsors are down there. Well, on the other next turns, like Daniel Suarez, his is on the side there. I don't really know why they put hers down there, but oh well. Yeah, she's pretty basic, just normal, her normal yellow color, and 51, obviously, to honor Doc Hudson at the end of Cars 3. Yeah, and on the back here, she has classic Dynaco logo, like with the king here, except it is a bit more modern, I guess you could say. But yeah. And she's got 51 right there and the yellow racing stripes to signify that she is a rookie. That's all there really is to her. She's not really all that special. And she's also got the blue rims right there. So obviously she's the Dyna Connection. But yeah, that's about it for her. So yeah, that's about it for Team Dynaco. I also have some other Dynaco members, like uh, Mir from the first movie and third movie. And, uh, obviously the Dynaco versions of Chick Hicks and Lightning McQueen, they are extremely old, so they are extremely dented and 
many places, but yeah. We got McQueen, we got Chick Hicks, we got Texadinica, who just before I started recording this video, I noticed his front thing right here, like right here is broken. So yeah, it's gone, I don't know where he went. And we have Dinoco, or we have Tex Dinoco. I do have a forklift, I do not have the crew chief, however. And we also have the hollow right there. So yeah, this is Team Dinoco. And that's all basically I have from Team Dinoco. I guess Fat Blue Slate and McQueen technically counts, but I didn't bring him out because I didn't really think about bringing him out until I started recording this video, but yeah. This is all I got for Team Dynaco, and that's about it for this video, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.